Hi, I'm Sherry with C-Spot Reviews, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Tess Gerritsen's upcoming book, Playing With Fire. Uh, this one is due to be published in October, October 27th, so this is a little early, um, but um, I think uh, this is definitely going to be one that you'll want to put on your pre-order list. Um, so this is my first uh, read of Tess Gerritsen. I mean, obviously I've heard of her with the Rizzoli and Isles series, um, but I've not read any of her work. When I saw Playing With Fire on NetGalley, it looked really interesting, and I went ahead and, and grabbed it, and um, uh, was lucky enough to be approved for that. And, um, wow, I <laughs> it was nothing like what I had expected, and um, so much better uh, than than what I had thought. Uh, there's a bit of a red herring in there. I almost fell for it, but um, I'm really happy that that uh, the author went a different way. So playing with fire uh, is about a, uh, a a woman named Julia Anstell who is happily married with a, a uh, five year old. No, I think she's three year old daughter, um, Lily, who uh, who. She and her husband had been trying for years to get pregnant, and, and then, you know, along came Lily, and Julia's life seems pretty awesome. She's a professional uh, musician. She's a violin player, and the story opens with her in, in Rome in an antique shop where she finds uh, a very old... Um, a very old book of music and there's a sheet or two sheets slipped inside with um, another piece of music that's very you know roughly handwritten called Incendido Waltz I believe and so she brings it home with her back to Massachusetts and as she starts playing this music um, weird things start happening the, the her daughter it appears um, becomes really violent, and um, there's a you know the so one of the storylines is trying to figure out what is wrong with with her daughter, uh, and the other storyline uh, is during World War II with a uh, a in in Venice uh, an Italian a Jewish Italian family. Um, who is, uh, you know, just starting to feel um, what it's going to be like when, uh, with Nazi occupation of Italy. And um, there's kind of a love story uh, that, you know, I won't give too much of that away. But uh, so there's some tie-ins between these two stories. Um, ultimately, I thought this book was fantastic. It was pretty action-packed. There was um, not a lot of uh, a filler at all. Uh, it really moved forward. Um, the the switching between the, the current day with Julia and uh, the World War II areas with um, Lorenzo and, and his family, uh, it, it, it didn't feel jarring at all. Both storylines were very interesting and engaging. Um, I I would read this one again, actually, and, and I definitely do recommend it uh, for well for anybody that likes uh, historical fiction, um, mystery, thriller. Uh, it was just really really good, and I did not expect uh, expect the way that it turned out. So I definitely recommend Playing with Fire by Tess Gerritsen. Uh, look for it at the end of October. Um, happy reading.